Hello and welcome back. Well today, it's a Sunday afternoon, we're going to be going out with Damien. <clears throat> now, we're going out on the west coast, we're going out in his super dinghy. He's got his big boats in town as I've told you in previous videos, but the super dinghy, he's basically put out, I think it's six pots, maybe a few more. Uh, just to try and get the early start on the lobsters and actually it was exactly what I'm going to be doing as well So over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be doing exactly the same. I'm going to put half a dozen pots out Old pots if they get ruined they get lost they get bundled up. I'm not fussed But it means that we can get a start on the uh, on the lobsters because at the moment there seems to be quite a few round in shore in close So uh, today he put them out. I think it must have been Thursday uh, it's Sunday today, so we're going to give them a check. Now, the reason I'm doing the video intro in the car is I'm going to pre-warn you. It is windy. It's about a force four to force five. It's coming from the northeast, so it will be coming across the bay. It's going to be blooming windy. You are going to hear some wind noise, so I apologise in advance. I will do my best to cover everything up. Um, but it's just I hope you enjoy the potting. It's just a small couple of few pots Hopefully we can pull out a lobster and uh, just gives you an inkling of uh, what's come to come with me uh, In the super dinghy in the next few months. So this is a little bit of a teaser uh, But on Damien's boat uh, If you're not familiar with what a super dinghy is, it's a 12 foot um, fiberglass uh, dinghy. They're made over here. It's a local guy that's got the mold so he uh, He's made quite a few and uh, they're a very popular bay boat. They're very inshore, um, stable little things to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, you do get, sometimes you do get a bit of splash coming over the front. So uh, I'm gonna have the skins on today and the welly boots and we'll be heading down there uh, with his tractor. So we shall see. Another thing as well, I've got a GoPro 8, another one. So that's three I've got on the way. I'll have three GoPros. Don't mess around on this channel. Uh, and the reason for this is because I want to have you at every different angle possible. I don't want you to be missing out on any of the action. So exciting times to come and we shall see you at Damien's house. Sit back and relax. Right, so you can see here, I just walked into uh, to Damien's and he, he said, have you got a coat? And I said, no, not really. And I asked, he said, you're going to want one. So he's given me his, so I've got the captain's attire on. Anyway, he's gone to get another one. I'll give you a show of his tractor. So this is what we use. <laughs> so it's a Massey Ferguson, two wheel drive. So just the rear wheels. And you can see there's oil and there's a bit of this and a bit of that, but he keeps, he keeps grease and stuff over it to stop it rusting up. Um, you can see those back tires. The reason you can go in the water, you know, you can go up <clears throat> as high as you like you don't need very much for the super dinghies to float go around here if you haven't seen i'll show you the boats 12 foot super dinghy he's got a 9.8 or 9.9 .9 to hatsu four stroke he's got his electrics just in here he's got a like a life raft type well not a raft a, a float chock out fish finder uh he's got a net He's got a couple of anchors and he's just putting a check the fuel. Fuel filter, you got enough in there. And we've got some oars in case the engine chucks its hand in. I'm going to probably be sat up the front up there getting all the spray of my back. We're waiting for Dan, Dan the man. If you've watched the previous videos and you've seen the orange commercial boat, Cheeky Monkey, me on it and me towing it is the boat. <laughs> hey Damien. That's the one, mate. That's the one. <laughs> So this is the setup we got here. You can see the idea of the tractor is because it's got these arms on it here They lift up on hydraulics and what you can do is Lift the front of the trailer up to make it easier for him to uh, get it on the boat onto the trailer You see him bailing out a bit of water there. There'll be far more than that when we're finished That's for sure. So we're just waiting for Dan and then we'll be heading down the beach Ready? Well, they're just jumping on. I'm going to give you a few. <laughs> Make sure the road's clear and we'll be ready to go. Okay. 
Hey, so it, we're down at the beach now. It's different. We're at a different beach. Um, usually we're in at Perel, but uh, we're down at Valzon today. And there's some white horses. This super dinghy is going to be dirty spray coming off the front. So I'm going to get soaked. He's going to get soaked. That's a lot of laughing, so I fell in the hole then. Yeah. <laughs> Do we shout in? I should have brought my bathers. And it looks like it's going to rain as well, so the odds are against us. See the hydraulics going up. Oh, wet foot. Wet foot already. So we're going to give it a push. You ready? Dan's going in for the dive. And he's in. I'm going to move. So that's as easy as that. It literally is just like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. This is challenging conditions to say the least. Rain, wind. Right, I'm gonna hop on the front. Just about to go in my welly boots. Right, okay. We'll go, oh, oh, oh. I can feel it crippling over. <laughs> Have you done any other exercise recently, Damien? Only a bit last night. <laughs> <laughs> Captain's been naughty. Hey, oh, he's starting the engine up, putting it down. <laughs> Three men in a boat, eh? In the rain. idea is it <laughs> yeah so that's what we're heading for i'm gonna get soaked and i'm gonna keep you try hopefully Just going through this uh, rough to get to the smooth. Apologies for the water on the lens. <laughs> oh, awesome. like a drowned rat, Damien's like a drowned rat, and I'm not too bad. It's nice in the bow. You see how it's smoothened out as we get round here because the rocks are sheltering us. Um, that's Fort Hume there. For those of you that want to know more about Fort Hume, if you go on Google, put in Fort Hume, it'll tell you all about it. Hopefully you can hear me just right. So the plots are in nice and close. Is this them just here? See the swell just, just around the rocks here. You see how it's just off those rocks where, they're, where we're protected. Just the side of it is uh, is rocks. How many pots have you got out? 14. 14 pots today. I thought it was six, but it's 14, so there we go. <laughs> yeah, nice bit of 
bit of swell coming around here. Yeah, got that right in there, lovely. I think it's time to put the old hood, hood on them again. <laughs> I turned round and that's it. Lovely big conga down there. If you could smell this, you'd be being sick. That's horrendous, eh? Here we go. They're just behind us in front, over the bow. Dan's pulling. This tray put up here. How deep is the water here? Say about 15 How deep? 50 or 60 foot. First pot's up, here we go. Nothing in the first pot. Second pot. Well, they strings up two or three. Twos, Twos yeah. Lobster. There we go. Beautiful. We'll go each that one in a sec. Nice and hard. Beautiful. No berries or anything like that. Nice and close into the rocks, look at that. Small boat potting at its best. This is exactly what I'm going to be doing in mine in the next few months. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll be getting some fish as well. And there's the buff. That's the first set of two. Two pots, one lobster. Good start. Here we go, it's the second set. Handbrake slide. Beautiful. So these are baited with ray, are they? Yeah, they yeah. are. First parlor up. Nothing. Oh yeah, tiny spider, back it goes. Fish. Woof woof. Rock salmon if you're from England or anywhere else. Uh, another lobster. Bit small. Small I'd say. And there's a little brown crab in there or shanker. One hooker that uh, that lobster is by the looks. That's a that is a creel pot guys. It's got the uh, the entrances on the side rather than on the top. There's no neck on those pots. So you put the uh, the bait in down through that sleeve. Yeah, yeah it's so growing back another claw. Look at that. Gauge. You can gauge it though. Gauge. Is it on that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's going back. There we go. So that's uh, four pots, two lobsters, one keeper. The other one's gone back. On to the next. You'll see uh, a bit of the old sewage pipe on the side of the boat. That is what I've got on mine, and that will stop the boat, the side of the boat wearing out when you're pulling. Right, we're 
going back down, I think, because it's a set of green buffs. So that's the next one. So we made one, two, and three. So there's two here. Someone's buffs close to the rocks there. Look, that end of that. Eh? Oh, that says <laughs> someone's. We're going to be closer to the rocks there. Is that the first spot up already? Yeah. Carl, it's not. It's not deep, eh? No, I was given. Oh, look at this! Copper brown crabs. Good one. There we are. Did you have your glove? Yeah. Another one there. Another worth a gauge. It's going to check that. That female, yeah. And a lobster and again. But undersized. Another lobster in that pot. That's a, uh, definitely a, a Dan special. Velvet swimming crab, one of the angriest crabs in the sea. That's a Dan special, that pot, look. <laughs> that one, yeah. Yeah, well, the thing is, most of the pots we just don't care about losing. Another lobster, a couple of brown crab, uh, velvet swimming crabs in there. Another small lobster. That's going to be going back. Nice to see though. Yeah. Okay, so they've just informed me all the rest of them are single, single pots. And basically, these are their older pots. And because the weather's still rough, they don't care really more than that if they get lost. I can see the bottom down here. I can actually, I might be able to see the pot coming up through the water column. There it is. There it is. And what have we got? Two, Two lobsters. Not under maybe. Maybe, maybe. That one's a maybe. And that one's definitely not. That's a, that's a long steam. And that one's too small. <laughs> so we've had nearly a lobster in every pot. A little brown Just under, look. Just under, look at that, look. So another one. Going back. There we go, so that's six pots done, on to the next. Check this, look, see that rock just poking out there? This is what you can do in a super dinghy. Look, Dan is literally gonna place it down the side of that rock just poking out there. Look, literally that close. That's the advantage of these little boats. You can get in nice and tight and that's where the lobsters are. Right, onto the next one. I think it's just around the side of this rock here. Here we are. DA, Dr. Alvin. <laughs> Behind us, look. Check that. In the tank. Here it comes. Nothing. Nothing. The boys have just said they got to take it easy around here. Why is that? We're gonna wrap the pot with blue ugly bowling. <laughs> if you didn't pick that up because of the winds, they said there's a rock with blue anti fouling on it. So you can guess. Looking at the collar of the boat. Boy, it's got blue on it. Come on. Come on. Let's see some. Oh, aye, aye. no, 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 I'm stuck. <laughs> Picturesque. Yeah. In fact, it feel, fact, it's only about one degree, I reckon. In temperature, quite it's colder. It's a nice lobster. It's a massive claw, but he's a he's a one hooker. Yeah. Where's your other one? There you go. Baiting up. Get this one out. On to the next. Flying.
So what was that number? Four left guys, four left. Yeah. Cameraman at the bath. Here we are, look, the little pallet. <laughs> <laughs> Always want to lower the tail. Come on. Easy. Cubs. Where's the lobsters at? There's another one. Oh, come on. <laughs> Every pot. And another one. <laughs> These are the lobster pots. Look at that. Yeah, nice bell, eh? Nice. You can eat those as well. I personally wouldn't. It's going to try and gauge it now. It's the moment of truth. And she's in. And she's in. Look at that. Beauty. What bait are you using now? When are you going to use that conger eel there, Dan? Next trip. Next trip. Maybe we'll let it, let it ferment a bit more. Yeah. I didn't even know that was in there. There we are. So we've got a fine collection here. Look. Beauties. I feel that we're being watched. Little seagulls. Here we go. Come on, huh? that sounds a lot. Come on. No lobsters today in this pot. One of the only ones we haven't had any. Little spider crab, they'll be in in a few months time, April time, around here. There has been a few caught um, on the East Coast. Uh, just the, the, uh, the seasons at the moment are all up and down. I think it's because of the warmer waters, to be honest. But uh, yeah, April time, they'll be uh, coming in for breeding and we'll be uh, munching on a few. Close again. Literally eight foot away from that rock. Oh, he's missed it. Ah, it's a Cameraman's mucked up. <laughs> it's right up on the wrong side. It's a multi-function boat, this You can see it coming through the water there, just over the side now. Ah, one spider crab, eh? I don't know if you'll pick that up, but there's a serious reef just down there. Looking over the side and dropping it down. Awesome. Literally, we're looking around at the reef underneath the boat, and you drop just down the side, and hopefully the lobsters come out, the reef will go in the bottom. So that's the last pot. Four lobsters today and a brown crab. All in, not a bad day. Short trip, enjoy the ride in and we'll see you back on the tractor. Look at that. We're heading back in there, we're gonna be surfing in. Super thing, he loves it. The waves are coming up the rear. Surfing. We're surfing. It's a big one behind us. Pointing the tractor in the front, uh, the boat towards the tractor. This is 
quite a skill coming through here because although it looks like an empty bay, there's just some rocks there. There's like a bar, Damien's just said. So he's navigating through and we are just coming to the edge of the water. A few people walking on the beach today, very popular with dog walkers. There's a uh, little ice cream kiosk up there, sells, uh, well, funny enough, ice cream and hot drinks on days like this. A lot of people tend to uh, enjoy the views. Right, gonna lift the motor up now. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna get pushed in, and then we're gonna jump out and probably end up filling our wellies full. Oh, <laughs> we need. <laughs> See how shallow it is. And he's we're still going in. Still floating. This looks good. There we go. Dan's off to get the tractor. I'm going to hold the uh, tie coming up or down. It's coming up. There we go. Look at that for a silhouette. He's hooked it on to the front. Now he's going to winch it up. Fully licensed this boat, so any shellfish that comes off this is going to be sold. That's going to be going to the wholesalers and. Uh, They'll be going straight there now, so lovely and fresh for uh, restaurants to uh, sell to the public. Well, there we go, all done. So there we go, tractors off, silence. So I hope you enjoyed that short video. It was certainly taxing with the weather there, but it just gives you a bit of a show of uh, how uh, dinghy fishing can be done and also the challenging conditions. But those lobsters are gonna be going off now. Damien's gonna be taking them to uh, the uh, wholesaler. So they're as fresh as can be. And uh, yeah, job done. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit the uh, like button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed. Check out my Facebook, check out Instagram and you'll be sure to be uh, in touch with the latest catches. Until next time, take care, stay safe. It's Bailiwick Fishing.